Hello guys, this is YC and this is a review on the premium Bandai HGUC144 scale, a free knot. So basically, uh, it took me a long time to uh, build this kit. Why is that? I was holding out for a customer, a former customer, uh, who was uh, who asked me to hold on to this kit because he really wanted it. After uh, you know two months of trying to contact him about this kit, uh, I have decided, you know what, uh, I'm not going to wait any longer, I'm just going to build it. And uh, yeah, I'm keeping it, obviously. So anyway, I actually got this kit in May 2018, and this kit actually came out in April 2018, so now it's uh, almost October. So yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and take a look at the box. I did the unboxing for this kit, and here's a little blur right here. Uh, this is also part of the uh, uh, battle records. From the side story called uh, Mobile Suit Gundam Battle Records UC 0081, uh, which is actually a game. I'm guessing it's a game on PlayStation 1. And uh, there's actually a lot of Gundam games on Sony PlayStation. And uh, yeah. And before you guys ask why are there no Gundam games uh, on Xbox, well, because uh, uh, Bandai and uh, Sony has like a collaboration, so they don't publish uh, games for the Xbox. Also, uh, people in Japan do not care about any of the Xboxes, not the Xbox One, not the Xbox 360, or the Xbox, yeah, the Xbox One, the Xbox uh, Original. Xbox or the Xbox 360. They just don't care. It's a it's a console that nobody plays. So anyway, uh, here's a back of uh, here's a UPC. Retail price for this kit is uh, 2,300 yen. So if you're living in Japan, this thing will probably cost you 24 bucks. Uh, if you're in North America, pay the premium Bandai pricing. This one's gonna cost you about 40 bucks. So yeah, as you can see here, I have another premium Bandai. Uh, this is the e free mass production type. And uh, yeah, why did I bring this kit out here? Because uh, there's actually quite quite a few interesting things that you can do if you have both of these kits. So I will talk about that first. So anyway, let's take a look at this humongous pile of leftover parts. The, most of these are from this kit. So uh, obviously we got the leftover feet. This is actually from this kit. And uh, basically we have this extra um, part right here. That's from this kit, and then now you can make two complete feet, although uh, there will be a mismatching colors. So you have two feet, and then you also have two lower legs. Um, I guess if you can, uh, I guess you can source like one of that uh, inner frame parts from another kit or something. You can complete, like you can almost complete a leg build. <laughs> so that's actually interesting and uh, these are the same parts as the uh, legs from the e free uh, mass production type so if you want to make like a custom e free mass production type with uh, different color legs you very well could so yeah that's something uh, if you're into customizing you might want to consider doing that we also have these parts right here now uh, these little thrusters ex actually came from this kit those are the leftover parts so now you can have an almost complete uh, armor section for uh, to make sort some sort almost like a, a free custom if you want to. Yeah, so you can kind of do that, I guess, and also stick the missile pots on here <laughs> like that. Yeah, take a look at that. Obviously, uh, this kit. It's heavily is a heavy retool of the E3 custom. We have all these parts once again, just like the uh, uh, the E3 mass production type is missing the back cover on the missile pots, so you're not going to be able to fully complete the build without. Yeah, you, you actually won't be able to do that. You probably have to like take some plot play and just cover the back section. But yeah, uh, if you want to customize this kit, you can use all the parts from this kit to do it. Or if you have a free Shinai, uh, you can use these parts on the free Shinai. Although you probably have to do some painting on uh, these parts right there. So yeah, got the front skirt right there, back skirt. If you want to make like a custom color scheme for this kit, you could. Or the free Shinai, also got the lower leg section. Uh, I mean the thighs, so you can swap that out if you like. Uh, these are not very useful because uh, it's missing those missile pots there. 
but you know I guess uh, if you can if you have uh, some skills you can actually make maybe make something and cover that hole something like that and uh, either put on this kit or put it on this kit or put it on the E3 custom or the E3 Schnei complete up to you also we got these shoulder parts right there you can't really see them so these aren't actually that useful so most of the time it's just gonna be covered by the shoulders anyway so and then uh, we got the torso parts so if you don't like this uh, blue color torso you can swap this out with this give it like a you know like a different color scheme you can also do that with the free uh, Schneid or the free custom if you like so that's that also got the bicep armor right here if you want to swap that out you now maybe give it like a little bit more di different color separation make this kit like a little bit more uh, stealthy or something with these uh, darker purple parts you very well could let me just give you an example it's actually very easy to do so go ahead and pop the arm off and then uh, swap out the armor and then voila like that I actually like the look I, I like this look better than the uh, uh, the baby blue because it uh, gives it more different uh, color and uh, I guess if you want to do that for the uh, the thighs yeah it can actually look very good in this color scheme yeah it's something to uh, something to do if you guys are interested in doing that obviously uh, it's also got this uh, a free custom style backpack so if you want to make you know a custom backpack for this kit you could it's uh it's very easy you just pop and swap you do have to do some painting on these uh parts though so if you want like a different backpack for the freak uh mass production type you could although it's kind of defeat the purpose because this is a completely uh newly molded uh part for this kit specifically for this kit so you might uh, want to consider putting this on something else instead maybe like the uh, a free custom or I mean the free Schneid so yeah lots of parts lots of uh, room for customization uh, this is actually uh, my favorite e free build by far uh, I thought this one was probably my favorite but yeah this kit is uh, a lot better and I'll get to you get to why this kit's a lot better anyway let's go ahead and take a look at the uh, instruction manual it's a very simple, your typical premium Bandai uh, monochrome instruction manual. Not really much to talk about here. Just uh, talk about the assembly and how to uh, work this uh, uh, forearm cannon uh, machine gun gimmick. And then uh, this time we got a very small sheet of foil sticker. So yeah, it's not bad compared to this one. This The, the foil sticker on this kit, pure cancer. This is tolerable. All right. Obviously, uh, this kit does not come with the uh, uh, the build diver style action base, and also doesn't come with this open hand. I source this open hand from this kit because, uh, yeah, I wish you would come with an open hand so you know you can do some more dynamic posing, like this. I mean, he's holding a katana in one hand, and then uh, you know he wants he obviously want to do something with like an open hand, right? So maybe hold on to the katana like that. Or something anyway let's go ahead and get this kit off this uh, action base and uh, talk about this kit the articulation is exactly the same as the uh, a free mass production type the bill is uh, exactly the same so let's just talk about the differences uh, well this is supposed to be the base version of the a free every uh, customized a free is supposed to be a variant of this kit so yeah, uh, basically, um, they uh, made a few different parts as an upgrade for the customization. Obviously, we got a different style feet. These are more like the, uh, I don't know, these are more like the uh, more angular. You can take a look at that. It reminds me more of a, not like a Galgu, but more like a... Um, something a little bit more advanced <laughs> actually it kind of remind me of the fee from the Sazabi 
I don't know why. I think it, yeah, it's like a little bit more advanced. It's very neat. And then we also got this uh, newly developed lower leg. This is uh, a completely different from the mass production type. Also got these uh, uh, cover right here for the lower leg. Uh, this this is also a newly developed part. It's got like thrusters and stuff like that. Also extra armor that goes on the flies, which is very nice. And we also got these attachment points for this kunai. Uh, I did actually went on and paint the kunai. Paint the blade uh, gunmetal gray. Paint the uh, round section here uh, with the, uh, uh, I guess, titanium. And these are all painted using a uh, tester's uh, uh, metalizer lacquer. So, yeah, all that. Very cool. Why is it like lint on this one? Hang on one second. Technical difficulties. Some of the uh, the cotton must have got stuck on this paint or something. I probably have to clean that up later. Anyway, uh, we got all four connection points right here for the uh, kunais. Very nice. Different front skirt compared to the uh, uh, the mass production type. Also different uh, front section right here. This is completely different. The side skirts are the same. The back skirt is obviously different. I've got more thrusters here. I put on the uh, uh, one of the uh, old older style Xeon logo here because I ran out of the uh, decals for the, uh, uh, the ground forces or the regular forces, uh, space forces Xeon logo. So anyway, we've got a different backpack. This backpack is unique to this kit. And uh, it's got some thrusters up top. I think these are intakes and then we have the uh, thrust supports. Also got a connection point for the sheath for the uh, heat katana. Very nice. Power cable goes to the front. Again, the power cable does hinder the articulation. And uh, yeah, we also got the uh, different forearm armor compared to the mass production type and all its uh, previous uh, releases. Uh, we got uh, this style, uh, more like a samurai style, uh, <laughs> I guess, forearm armor piece. And we also got a unique style uh, shoulder armor. Now this one is actually permanently attached to the shoulder. So yeah, it's not something that you can pop off like the uh, Ifri uh, Custom, the Ifri Kai and the Ifri Mass Production type. This, these are permanent. Um, I guess it's more like the Ifri Schnei. I think the one on the Schnei is actually permanent too. And uh, we also got this armor piece that you can flip up and down like that. Very nice. Uh, the head is exactly the same as the Ifri uh, Schnei and Ifri Custom. So it suffered from that issue with the very loose mono eye. Yeah. So basically uh, when I'm building this kit, I realized, okay, they actually redesigned the head for the uh, Ifri mass production type. That's why the uh, the mono eye is actually very tight in there. This one also have the head Vulcan pots, while the custom version, the custom variants don't have the Vulcan pots. Because uh, most of them were just created for, uh, I guess, close combat purposes. Like the Shinai is like, uh, kind of like a super close quarter combat with his heat daggers and this one is just like a, you know combat with the uh, blades and kunai also close combat okay so uh, let's see let's talk about one last gimmick right here this is the uh, machine gun gimmick the forearm machine gun gimmick uh, very similar to the goof very uh, goof inspired weaponry so basically you want to move the arm out like that right here and it's like a parse forming thing it's not like a full transformation or you can just get it into that uh, firing mode so basically you need to take the uh, the machine gun barrels and then uh, you want to reconnect the cover it's a very simple transformation but it looks really cool yeah like that now he can fire the uh, uh, the machine gun Alright, so one thing I don't like about this kit, once again, they suffer from that loose mono eye kind of thing. So, yeah. Uh, you could basically uh, move the mono eye by popping the head off and then there's like a switch in there. But it's so loose that basically you can just take like a toothpick or maybe one of the uh, included kunais and just you stick that in there and then adjust the mono eye. And the mono eye is just a sticker, so 
yeah but overall this is a very nice kit now i do have uh something i need to tell you guys when you're painting the weapon you know obviously sometimes you want to paint the weapon to make it look better uh the paint actually adds like a layer of uh you know material to the weapon and uh, once you do that it's going to be very difficult for you to uh, sheath the uh, weapon so I, I now i can't even get the uh, katana into the sheath so he's gonna have to be just wielding his katana permanently <laughs> unfortunately but uh yeah it's cool i mean that's what it's designed to do so he's gonna do exactly that so yeah definitely my favorite e free kit out of all of them i don't know if bandai is gonna release any more uh e free variants maybe we'll see like a build diver version like a custom build diver version because they kind of teased that in one of the episode, earlier episodes but uh, I guess nothing nothing came out of that thing so yeah uh, I think uh, that is pretty much it for the uh, the e free lineage it was like a custom mobile suit that was supposed to be made for uh, mass production but uh, you know Xeon ended up losing the war so only A of the e freeze were uh, made and uh, they were customized into uh, these uh, uh, three variants one mass production type and three variants we have the Schnei, the Nacht and the uh, Ifree Custom the Ifree Kai with the exam system so yeah that, that's all that's all f that's it for the Ifree unfortunately uh, out of uh out of all four of them, uh, three of them are premium Bandai, which is uh, very dis disappointing, but these are very nice. I mean, I, I like these guys a lot more than the Goof now. These are my uh, uh, official replacement for the Goof. So, yeah. Uh, if you guys like uh, the Ifrit mobile suit, I would definitely check out all of them. They're all fantastic. Uh, these two... Uh, I like a lot, a lot more than the custom. So, definitely uh, pick uh, pick this guy. This guy is the best. <laughs> this guy is probably the second best. And uh, yeah, uh, I like the Shinai too. But you know, since it's a mass release, uh, it's really not that special. But anyway, that's pretty much it for this video. I hope you guys find the information helpful. Thanks for watching.